Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate 19. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director. And we've got a short movie here on the timeline, enough of a movie that we'd like to add some narration to it. Adding narration is very simple. To do it, you go over here to the rooms in the upper left-hand corner of the program. It used to be in previous versions or earlier versions of the program. You could see a long listing here of options for rooms. In order to streamline the experience, uh, CyberLink has hidden some of these under this More menu. And if you click on More, you'll find the option to go to the VoiceOver recording room. Here we should see our microphone indicated here, and you can see my voice being indicated on the VU meter. That's a good thing. Uh, if you're not seeing that, you may want to restart the program with your microphone plugged in. But your program should recognize the microphone. Go over here to device, and if your microphone is not for some reason being registered, you may be able to configure it this way. That's mine, good. Profile. Click on profile. I don't know why it is set for such a low profile. PCM is just uncompressed audio. That's good. But this sampling rate is very, very low. So I recommend you go down to the bottom. If not the bottom, if not 48K, at least go to 44, 1K, 16-bit stereo. Give you a much better fidelity to your sound. And in fact, I'm going to just save that and give that a name. Let's call it Steve. So that way, next time I'm recording, uh, I can immediately recall it without having to search through that drop down list. We'll click on that and click on preferences here. And there are some options for, say, limiting the length of your narration. I'm not sure there would be a value in that, but I'd like to add a three second delay before recording. So it's not going to go right into recording. I'll get a three, two, one countdown before it's time. Whether or not you auto fade in and auto fade out uh, are up to you. I don't see much use for those either. But I do like that three second delay before I begin recording. And that should be it. So I'm going to position my playhead right where I'd like it to be when I start my recording. I'm going to mute all the tracks when I'm recording. So I'm not getting any funny feedback. I'm not getting noise. I'm not getting music or anything coming off the screen into my microphone. I'm just getting just me. Uh, when I click on the record button, I'll have the option of where this track is or this audio track is saved. And you can reposition, of course, any track on your timeline, but I'd like it to be right below video track one since I've only got one track of video. That's great. You do have other options. We'll click OK. And we should be good to go. There's three, two. It was a beautiful sunny day when we began our journey. We'll click on the stop button or click on the record button a second time to stop it. And then we should have some audio down here. So let's see what happens when we play our timeline. It was a beautiful sunny day when we began our journey. Very, very nice. Now we were getting, you could also hear some of the talk, some of the chatter in the actual video itself. Uh, we could have muted that simply by unchecking the timeline or the audio track there for the video itself and then heard only our narration. But there it is. It was a beautiful sunny day when we began our journey. And that sounds pretty darn good. That's all there is really to recording narration. You, of course, have the option of recording your narration in a third party program, a program like Audacity or a program like SoundForge or any audio program. And I often do that because I can have a little more control over my audio. But you can record right into the program too so that you can watch your movie as you're recording. One of the many great features here in CyberLink PowerDirector. Now, if you want to know more about PowerDirector Ultimate, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. Want to know every single thing about this amazing program? Check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. It is available at amazon.com. And I'm Steve, the guy who wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.